The game mode Random Jump Started Bonanza is currently out in ZOMG Superdome. But on top of that, the Super Monkey is actually banned in this mode. So no Super Monkey in Bonanza equals sad. But I actually think no Super Monkey in Bonanza is going to be pretty interesting. So if you do enjoy, do not forget to drop a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. All right, we're going against Little Dan here, and he is a top 100 player, so this should be interesting, okay? But let's see what strategy we get. We got Scientist Gwendolyn, Spike Battery Village. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Yo, Boomer, though. Come on, bro. Why'd you have to freaking sell me with that Ninja Kiwi? Nonetheless, we've got the Spike Battery within our strategy. This guy was like laughing at me, by the way. He was doing the laughing emotes, so we gotta clap him up real quick. Pause. No, but seriously, like, how dare you, brother? Okay, I think... I don't even know where I want Scientist Gwendolyn. Like, more towards the back of the map? Probably would make a lot more sense. Um, we also could go for uh, some bottom path villages as well. So let me go ahead and go with the Monkeyopolis. What? It just produced all the money? Is that supposed to happen? What? Was that a glitch? I don't think it's supposed to produce the money until the start of the round, brother. Okay, but we got to make sure that we don't, like, die to, like, DDTs or something stupid like that, right? So, I'm going to have to go ahead. Ooh, where do I even want, like, a primer expertise, for example? I'm thinking, like, more over here. Thoughts? Primer expertise, like, right there. I'll have our um, Glaive Storm. Sorry, Glaive Lord. <laughs> what does the back of the map right there? Okay, so that's pretty darn good. And then he's going to go with a Spike Battery as well. Okay, so... I think we're okay without that. However, maybe I should still have, like, a spike factory somewhere. Oh, I definitely want to have boomers inside the range of the primary expertise, though. Or maybe maybe I should just say screw it, though. It's okay. So let me also set down a farmer since I have, like, a thousand of them. I bought a thousand of them for a reason, chat. Okay? Because y'all kept on yelling at me, okay? But you know what? Off to a good start because we did not immediately die, which is good. We do have to watch out for round 28 all-out DDT. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the Spike Storm here. Beautiful. Okay, so I did upgrade my RAM on my PC, by the way, which is like really, really random. But went from 16 gigabytes to now 64 gigabytes. So you should notice that the game should run a little bit better. Although right now it is laggy. I think this is like connection-wise, though. Like this doesn't feel like it's because of my PC. Yeah, look at the little damn, bro. Lil Dan, you have terrible freaking internet. You got that McDonald's Wi-Fi, bro. But dude, playing Bonanza with no Super Monkey is kind of fun if you really think about it. Because obviously, I think we can all agree that when money is not an issue, the Super Monkey is the best tower in the game. What's holding it back is how expensive it is. But in Bonanza, you get an absurd amount of money. So clearly the best tower is the Super Monkey, which is why you often see it in Bonanza game modes. But... When it's banned, you definitely have to play the game just a lot differently in general, which causes for some interesting gameplay, okay? I like when you can switch things up in battles, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Perma Charge, like right here, by the way. Round 30 is, in fact, here, so I could try to rush him, but I do want to go uh, for a pretty cool defend. So, I'm cool with not rushing here. Let's go for the Carpet of Spikes here. I probably should work towards the uh, good old Super Mines. Because uh, that would make a lot of sense, of course. So, I'm going to have to go ahead then. I don't know. Should I cross path this with the bottom path? I swear, every time I do, I feel like my super mines does better. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I could go for even more village farms, by the way. So, I guess I should be doing that. Yo, that's got to be glitch, bro. It's not supposed to produce all the crates all at once, guys. But I'm thinking that inside the range of the primary expertise, we go for mainly boomers. Because, obviously, the primary expertise buffs primary towers. And the boomer is a primary tower. And then for the remaining spots, we go for, like, spike storms and whatnot, okay? And let's go for the super mines here, finally, because I actually took quite some time to put this down. But, yeah, direct center of the map. I'm not sure if this is going to be the play, but it is the play that we are going to do nonetheless. Yeah, like, dude, this is, like, such a bad showcasing of the new frame. I promise you, this is connection-based, okay? That's why this game is lagging here. And let me start upgrading some of these. Now, I'm going to be upgrading most of these to the 240 turbo charge uh, because having all these turbo charge abilities is going to be insane. The only bad thing is once the turbo charge abilities are done, uh, we're going to be kind of cooked, okay? <laughs> so we got to use these abilities wisely, that's for sure. I never went for a perma spike. Are you guys going to yell at me if I don't? I feel like I should, although it's probably not necessary. I'm still going to for the culture. Okay, he's going to start rushing us? Bet. I'm down for that. I'm very down for that. 
Okay. We're honestly fine against just two, three. We're fine. We're literally fine. Okay, let me go for some spikes, spike storms. Okay, he's actually sending a lot. Dude, he can't even have that much money. I'm telling you guys. Okay, so I'm going to reuse you. I'm going to go ahead and like tower boost this because that's quite a bit. Tower boost, level 10, all of these abilities. All of these abilities, baby. Come on now, Spike Batteries and Boomers. The Boomer, if you know me, is not my favorite tower. But guess what? We're going to have to put some respect on his name because look at this. Yes, sir, baby. I told y'all. Spamming the freaking turbo charges was, in fact, the play we absolutely shredded there. So, like, that wasn't an all-out from him because he still has, like, village farms, but he completely just tanked his eco because you get double the negative amount of eco that you would normally get in Bonanza, and, yeah, we're sinking here. He probably just rage quit, bro. Okay, we're back, and we're shredding all of this. Let's go, baby. Like, I'm scared to rush him. He might honestly defend, or should I just... I don't know. If I sell every village farm... I don't know, guys. I, I genuinely don't know. I mean, screw it. We'll try it out. Okay, I'm not even sure if he's still in this game or not. He could have rage quit by this point. Let's go ahead and just send as many fortified BADs as we can. Now, oh, <laughs> he literally just ended up rage quitting, bro. Okay, how anticlimactic. Hall of Masters top 100 player, by the way. Not top 100 in Bonanza, I guess, though. I'll catch you on the next one. All right, let's see what we get here in the next game. We've got the sub. We've got the spike battery. And finally... We've got the ace. Okay, we are not cooking with this strategy. We'll see what we can do here, though, okay? Because we have a decent amount of money. 100 seconds, too. Holy crap, man. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that obstacle all the way in the back of the map. Go for you. Set you too smart, just so it can immediately start placing down all these spikes. I guess as well, I can have maybe, like, a super mine spike factory, like, more back here. I'll just, like, leave that on normal targeting. Uh, as for Star Captain Jericho, really does not matter where I put him. I guess more up here. We shouldn't die immediately, so I don't think, like, rushing this guy immediately is going to be the play, because it's only round 28, so we can only really send him, like, DDTs, for example. So that is probably not going to be a smart rush. Let's go ahead and go with a carpet of spikes here as well. Let's go for the big, bad, flying fortress, too. And I'm thinking, yo, wait, wait, wait. I think we're actually cooking with this. Let's go with... A sub right here. Energizer specifically. Cross path you with the bottom path because maybe it decamels better. I'm not exactly sure. But now with the Energizer, if we spam Spike Storms, our abilities will come back even quicker. Okay, so I definitely think that's going to be a pretty good move for us. Okay, he's going for like the sub commander and stuff. That's not going to do that much in my opinion. I'm not going to worry about Pixel Perfect placements either here. Let's just get these Spike Batteries on the map stat. And it's now round 28. I guess I'll eco. Why not? Yeah, but like, there's literally nothing that either of us can do. Literally nothing. Okay, can I go for this? Yes, I can. Okay, wait. Where's the best spot for this? Maybe just right next to my flying fortress. This will be a sky shredder. Beautiful. Now, we want these going against the balloon. So, actually switching the flight path here on both these aces... It's going to be a bit better for us, okay? It looks like he's got a lot more going on. Oh, what? DDTs. Bro. Bro. Stop. They're not working. <laughs> he just destroyed his eco. Because remember, Bonanza is within the mix. It doesn't actually say it right here. But pretty much, you get double the negative amount of income that you would normally get, which is what I said in the last game, from sending the balloon sense, okay? So... Him setting those fortified DDTs minus 800 eco per set. That is a lot of negative eco right there, okay? So that really sucks for him, but that's really good for us because now he's got, like, no money. Round 30 is here. It is still not worth it for us to rush. Oh, yeah, I can also use my level 3 ability, okay? I completely forgot about that. Six. Beautiful. Dude, I could send something into hyperspace with Smuggler's Run. The level 10 ability, okay? So I might honestly do that as well. Wait, should I be ecoing? Probably not. Okay, round 32 is here. He's back to ecoing at least. Or he just sent us a few eco balloons and that was it. Let's go ahead and steal his cash again. Oh yeah, I could probably send him a Moab too. But they're only tight Moabs, unfortunately. So I'm not even sure if that was worth it. Round 33. I don't know, man. Like... Could he defend against an all-out rush right here, right now? I feel like he could. Or maybe not. I don't know. His defense, again, is all over the place. 
He doesn't really have all that many spike storms. Wait, his super mind's over here? Am I dumb? The super mind is for the AI, bro. His super mind's not gonna do like anything then for him. Okay, I definitely feel like then we should rush him. We could send him, what, 11 fortified BEDs at the current moment. So that is not going to be easy for him to defend. Now, wait, I could again use that level 20. Should I do that and be a Chad? Yeah, let's do it. Let's upgrade to level 20. Okay, let's use Smuggler's Run here. Level 10. Send one unfortified BED because we can load up $25,000 worth of stuff. And then I can also send Titan Labs. Because <laughs> why not? And look at that, baby. Yeah, spawn that BED over there. And let's balloon boost as well. Let's balloon boost as well, baby. And send as many fortified BEDs as we freaking can. What? Wait, that BED. Although it's unfortified. Oh, shoot. It just ate through his entire purpose fight pile and ended up killing him. I know. My face cam was kind of blocking it. But bro, that perma spike, it didn't have the top craft path on it. That worked out perfectly, okay? So that is another GG. I will catch you in the final match. $2.7 million, 13,000 eco, round 39 on Pirate Cove is crazy. And yep, he wants to ready up. Yeah, this guy looks like a freaking sweat. Alchemist, we got the ace. And finally... We got the wizard. Wow, this strategy is so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did we just immediately die to DDTs? Like, I actually don't even know. Okay, I might want to cross path then. My flying fortress with the middle path just so we can handle DDTs better. Because DDTs are going to be insanely, insanely scary here. But let's go ahead and go with Ben immediately. Let's go with you. Oh wait, actually, no. We're going to want the permanent brew. Oh my gosh, it's not even a permanent brew. Okay. You right there then and then i'll have this like more over here i guess the pixel perfect placements don't matter as much as i think but i do want these to be permanently buffed okay i'm cross pathing all of these i don't care with the middle path bro all of them bro because i do not want to die to ddt's okay i refuse but we could also go for like total transformation and stuff now if i'm doing all of this then I probably actually won't be able to handle DDTs. Or not DDTs, BADs. So with that being said, this is definitely a game to where you just rush immediately. Literally immediately. So I guess for the remaining spots... Okay, let me get these wizards down. Just get them all down the map because we only have 50 seconds now. So like, just screw it at this point, you know what I mean? Oh wait, I have a decamo. Guys, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb, I'm so dumb, I'm so dumb. I literally have decamo with having wizard. Am I stupid? I think I'm dumb. I think I'm very, very dumb. Okay, whatever. It's too late now. We're too, we're in too deep. In too deep, bro. I mean, we could still try to rush him with DDTs. Immediately. It doesn't hurt. I mean, we have all the money in the world, bro. I literally am gonna, like, pre-tower boost, by the way. I don't even care. Okay, got that. We might even want... Oh my gosh. Our Zar. I was gonna say, yeah. I should have a czar. Okay, just to have that ready. Okay, so let's tower boost and balloon boost. Look at that. <laughs> no shot, dude. There's no way. <laughs> Insta killed him with DDTs, bro. That is crazy, but I think that is the perfect way to end today's video. Wow. When the Super Monkey is banned, Bonanza is a lot more fun. Let me know if you guys agree down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where we meet the new Apes Mode in Battles 2.